Why is it that beating Gwyn at the end of the first Dark Souls doesn't feel as good as it did 10 years ago? Or planting the Soviet flag atop the Reichstag in World of War? Hell, even killing the Ender Dragon? Why can't some of the most iconic moments in modern gaming make me as happy as they did in my younger years? I wonder if the internet's feeling the same way. Gaming has become really boring nowadays. Change my mind. Video gaming has become Why do video games hell? become I don't know why. Gaming, gaming has become more so people are so adjusting it's I feel like I've been in a slump in my enjoyment of video games over the last while. I've only been playing a single game for the last few months. That game in question is Squad. I love it. But it doesn't make me as happy as games used to. Sure, I'll hop on and enjoy my play for an hour or so, but it's mainly out of comfort. Playing Squad for me is a comfortable experience, which is why I've fallen into a cycle of not trying out new games. I find even when I do play other games outside of Squad, it's just games I played when I was younger. Halo Reach, Crackdown 2, Assassin's Creed 3, games that I played for hours as a kid. And the thing is, I enjoyed these games still, but not to the same degree as I did when I first played them. I remember playing Assassin's Creed Brotherhood for hours on end. I wouldn't even really be doing the story. I'd just be fighting random soldiers and absolutely love it because the combat was so good. Or in Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I just drive around hitting pedestrians, having the time of my life. And Rock of Ages. I still have no clue how I played this game for days at a time. Being able to just be immersed in a game's world without caring for things like how fun the reward system is or the quality of the graphics. It was all just about how fun the game was. But in this new age of gaming, where technology is at its most advanced and we have had over 50 years to perfect the craft of enjoyment and storytelling through video games, we still end up with most games being meteoric garbage. Emphasis on most, not all. So many games rely on amazing graphics to pull in a player base while not capturing the true essence of what makes a video game good. The fun. How much enjoyment someone can have while playing the game. It seems to be a commonly overlooked topic within the video gaming niche. It's all about chasing a trend or monetizing itself through cosmetics. But what about the fun? And I think this is due to video games and the franchises within it being seen as products over all else. As opposed to a game studio that cares about the experience a player has when going into their game. I'm sure many game developers truly do care about the craft, but things such as deadlines and profits can get in the way of creating a good game. Bad games are unfinished games. Cyberpunk, do I have to say anything more than the name? Battlefield, once again, do I have to say anything? These AAA flops give gaming a bad rep. But not all new games are trash like the mentioned examples. But I would like to counter the argument of modern gaming to be a pile of dung. People have complained about gaming since its inception. Complaining, funnily enough, is what people do best. Trust me, I would know. If you were to go off what the Omnisire known as the internet has said, gaming has been dead since the early 2000s. Hell, maybe even the 90s. Because there's always been terrible games, it's what makes the good games so fantastic. The lows make the highs oh so good that's actually a metaphor on life by the way take the bad with the good and everyone talks about games like dead space 2 dark souls portal 2 batman arkham city dawn central 2 fuck i didn't realize 2011 was such a good year but does anyone talk about the other games from that year rise of nightmares ew what are these graphics call of excuse my pronunciation shires the cartel kind of racially insensitive as agreed on by everyone. And Duke Nukem Forever. What a sad title. 15 years of development for that piece of shit. Fuck you. My point is, everyone remembers the amazing titles that have rooted themselves in people's minds. But there have always been an unreasonable amount of shit games to counteract the fantastic ones. The bad games, usually, are just lost time. Now remember what I said earlier about replaying games I remember fondly from my childhood and how they don't really hit the same as they once did? There's a reason they don't feel the same. We as humans are very emotion driven. Doesn't take a genius to understand the concept. And and what is one of the strongest human emotions? Familiarity, comfort, and happiness. Okay, I don't know if comfort and familiarity are emotions, but they're pretty high up there on the brain tier list, all right? And my claim is backed up by this article. Ah, so this is why Star Wars is so popular. Now, what do these titles as mentioned earlier have in common? They make me feel nostalgic. These games are associated with a time in my life where I was carefree and filled with the wonder for everything. At that age, I had no clue what a tax was. I still barely do. I didn't care about the things that seem to take up so much of my current life. So in defeating the end, dragon, killing Gwen and hoisting the Soviet flag, I'm attempting to relive the highest points of that time period of my life. It's not the game I miss, it's the feeling. 
and it's a take I see all over the internet. The fact that you don't miss the game, you miss the feeling of playing that game. And it's completely true. That feeling is what makes us fall in love with the video games to begin with. And I personally have been making the mistake of trying to chase that feeling in the exact way I found it in the first place. And of course it doesn't work. The magic isn't there in the same way that it used to be. Which brings me to my next point. Stop trying to relive this personal golden age of video games. It's a hard realization that I've come to, and that replaying these games just will never be the same as they once were. But it's alright. There's still enjoyment to be had. I still love Orenstein and Smog. Kidding. But it was still pretty fun. Building a house. That was still a heap of fun. Even the D-Day run is such a cool atmosphere. But nonetheless, I'm looking in the wrong place to try to reignite that passion for video games. What needs to happen, and I can only encourage other people to do the same, is try new things. I know, I'm the last schmuck who needs to tell you that trying new things is good. You got those life coaches and all the other donuts already telling you that. But seriously, try a new game. Loved Elden Ring? Play Demon Souls. Loved God of War? Play Doom Eternal. Love the new COD? Play Disco Elysium. I just wanted to sneak a Disco Elysium reference. It's the game I just started playing and it's really fun. And the funny thing is, Disco Elysium is a game I would never have tried. A top-down detective story is something that I personally wouldn't consider my first choice in a game. But in playing this, I've had way more fun than any other game I've played in recent times that follow more conventional game styles. So seriously, pick something up that you never would have thought of, but please do your research before picking up a game. There's nothing worse than spending an ungodly amount of money on a game and finding out that it's shit. God of War Ragnarok. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Jesus Christ, it's a joke. I'm kidding. God of War Ragnarok was good, but I can see why Elden Ring won Game of the Year. But sometimes, playing new games isn't going to work for you, and that's completely fine. I have a good solution for those people. Do something else. I know, it's a hard thing to accept. Moving on is like a top 5 worst things ever. But gaming, at the end of the day, is a hobby. A thing to do to have fun. I know for myself, I got stuff to do outside of gaming. Like, fucking waste away my life savings on collectible action figures. And then color them in. But for a lot of people, gaming is just not the thing you may want to do anymore. Whether you're getting older and you may not have the time. Or you genuinely do just think every new game that comes out is a waste of money along with time. And it's perfectly fine. There are so many things you can do in life. So many it's daunting to even start. Just try something. Anything. New experiences aren't always the best. Fuck, some new experiences suck. But stick to it. You'll find exactly what you want to do. While you may have grown out or gotten bored of video games, there's always different things to try within the hobby. And if you honestly feel that you've exhausted the enjoyment of video games, find something. There's nothing worse than living a life that will leave you wishing you had done more. Find enjoyment in your day to day. There's no scale of how good someone's life is. It's all in your head. And if that enjoyment can be obtained through video games, thank fucking God. And if not, that's perfectly fine. Just find the thing that does.